Hey guys, so it is my last day with the Kia Sedona. They're actually going to be picking it up in about an hour and a half. So I want to just go ahead and do a quick tour of the vehicle. So it is in fact a minivan. So here it is here. Um, so it's actually the coolest minivan I have ever seen in my life. Um, and since, you know, dog mom is the new soccer mom, I would definitely drive this car. Like the technology alone makes me just really obsessed with it so we're gonna get in and take a look around um, at everything come on sparkle so I'm in the car um, and so is sparkle she's coming and this car is keyless entry so um, here's the keys so um, how you get in this is how you the doors are unlocked so I'm pressing it now it makes a beeping sound and then it unlocks so when you hit this button again the mirrors will open and the doors will unlock so when you get in the car um, oh, I think I stepped in an ant or something um, when you get in the car you just press this start engine stop um, and this will come up on the um, screen put your feet on the brake and start the car um, this car is excellent on gas miles. Excellent. Um, it gets like about 20 miles, 22 miles per gallon, and um, like 26 or 27 on the highway. It's pretty good, and it took about, I put $25 in here. Even though it came on a full tank, I put $25 in here. It got, on, got me like almost a full. So, as part of the radio, there is, um, the navigate there's like everything's down here radio you can put all the radio stations in here See the it has the there. FM Time stations text. the AM stations and the XM media I wasn't able to do any set of my phone or anything but you can hook your phone up your media you can put your USB cord auxiliary all that stuff you can set your phone up I wasn't able to do that either the navigation is awesome I love not having to use my actual phone and run my battery down for the navigation so I really really love that um, I don't know what info is okay yeah you can put Pandora apps voice commands and then set up um, that's the sound and everything display language keyboard you can download apps it looks like system info what's that okay home um, what I really like most is these buttons here um, this button here makes the door open on its own same with the trunk you just push it and the trunk beeps and it starts opening and this is all my junk because the car has so much space this is from sparkles brunch um, that we had earlier this week and it was like so helpful so also on the keys on the buttons I would hold down this button here and then sparkle move I, you gotta you, we gotta make sure your kids are out of the way get up here with me come on because the doors will close on their own so you just hold it down you can see I'm holding it down but nothing's happening um, am I holding the right one okay yeah it's not working for some reason but it works but yeah the trunk is really cool I'm gonna probably be out of order because I want to show you but the trunk is so spacious this is also oh, so heavy it's also a seat that you can lift this up I had one of them up but this is the seat there and then you pull this back and then there's your seat they're the seat rests and so you can get about you can get a lot of people in the car so it's kind of heavy okay yep I'm only gonna do one side to show you guys and so again when the trunk is open you hold down the trunk button here I don't know why it's not working let me see. I'm going to close one of these doors. Oh, it says key not in vehicle. 
that's why. So I turned the car off. Let's see if it will do this. So now I'm holding it down and the car lets it down. So the door, so it's closed. I guess the car recognizes when the key is not in the vehicle. So um, that's really neat. So this is the back seat. Um, of course, I have more junk in here, which I'm getting ready to take out. I had to put it in organized fashion. But um, this is actually, how do you get it open? We figured it out. Um, I don't want to break it. My sister showed me how to do it, and now I can't get it open. Um, how do you open this? I can't I don't remember how to open it but this is a TV okay maybe this is it oh man they show me what to do but I don't want to break anything shucks this is a TV here with the full on USB uh, an actual outlet here an outlet like you can plug your phone up I've been plugging my phone in there it's excellent it charges so fast uh, up there is where you can control the air conditioning I'm really upset about the TV not working but um up there in the front let's go back in the front seat where the TV is this is how I figured out there was a TV and this is why I'm young but I'm having a hard time getting stuff there's headphones for the kids to watch TV and a remote too for the TV so it's pretty cool I wish I can get the TV open to show you and you can also also watch DVDs but I don't know how to work it so um what else was my some of my favorite stuff in this car that I can't show you oh um the camera I'm gonna, I turn the car off I'm turning it back on I'm going to show you guys. When you put the car in reverse, the rear backup camera comes on. And it also shows, you can see sparkles right there. Um, this is my parents' garage. This is my sister's Jeep. And that's my car. So when you're close to different things, it also, this here will light up like red, red or green if you're too close. It's like a sensor to show you that you're too close. Now... At first, I was like, oh, God, it's bad for my nerves. But if you get used to it, it is an ex excellent tool in helping you to drive well. Excellent. Um, what else? Um, yeah, these little windows had little um, screens pulled up on them. Um, more charging things here the air conditioning is excellent because it's still October and we are still at 90 degrees in Houston what the hell um yeah this car and it rides so well so it rides like an airplane like smooth um what else I don't know I think that's pretty much it I really really like this minivan like Honestly, I have my dog child, my fur baby, who has obviously been outside rolling around in the dirt. She was so comfortable in here. Like, she loves it in here. After her brunch, she was, like, down there in the nooks and crannies, like, sleep, knocked out, okay? Um, I sure wish I could open up the TV to show you guys, but this is definitely a TV right there. I just don't know how to open it. Um... I don't know what these buttons are up here. I didn't try it. I guess I could when the man gets here. But, um, let's close this door. It's closing now. That's so cool. So, um, I don't know. Like, I'm just going to, like, start messing with stuff since the man is on his way to pick it up. But this was a really, really neat car. Um, I absolutely 
had, um, you know, so much fun in this car. Um, they're coming to take it away. It's not my car. Um, but yeah, it was really, really nice. This, I recommend this car for anybody who likes technology. If you have kids, I mean, like, you can entertain your kids with the TV. Like, my little sisters are 15 and they were amazed with the doors opening by itself. But I mean, you have a TV, XM radio, you can charge your phone back there. There's a USB and a plug. There's another, then there's the, um, car charger port up here on the side. And then there's one in the very back in the trunk, so... You know, there's if you have more than one or two kids, everybody should be able to charge their phone like without any issues. Um, but yeah, this car was really neat and I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff out of here and then they're gonna come pick it up and it'll be gone. But yeah, so look, follow my channel to get more car reviews. Um, I'm going to probably write a review on this car uh, on Sparkle's blog as well. But yes, I really like this car. Thumbs up. 